Hey, welcome back. This week, I want to share with you two ways that you can increase your launch profit uh, by leveraging social media. So we all know how powerful social media is. It's one of the best ways that you can grow and make offers organically. And most of us <laughs> are using it, uh, but you might find something you know, that I notice a lot and I hear from my clients a lot, which is that there's so many things that you could do on social. There's so many strategies. There's so many people killing it in stories. People are crashing IGTV, maybe, you know, reels. Now there's like Instagram live rooms and maybe I should be on Clubhouse. What's Pinterest? Like, you know, there's so many things that you could do. Uh, it does make it a little bit tricky to know what you should do or if you need to be spending all your time on social media or if you need to be in the DMs, like, I know I can find social to be a little bit overwhelming and also a bit of a emotional drain it, drainer. <laughs> um, and so when I know I'm going into a launch, I definitely make time in my schedule to really um, intentionally show up on social media. But also I have a strategy of the only things that I'm going to do during a launch. And I wanna share with you the things that we see right now in 2021 working really well so that you can know um, if I'm just doing these things, then I know that I'm going to be like leveraging my time, making the most out of the time that I'm spending on social and not just like scrolling forever and getting into everyone's comments and blah, blah, blah. So here are the two things that we see working really well. So obviously, you know, the first thing I'm going to say is to do your daily non-negotiables on social media. So what does that mean? That means doing a da one daily growth activity using social. So getting people specifically pre-launch, getting people to download the freebie that has to do with your launch or getting people to come to your pre-launch event, like a webinar or a challenge or um, a live event that you're doing or whatever it is, uh, growing your email list pre-launch using social. So show up however you want, socials, <laughs> socials, uh, stories, IGTVs, reels, whatever you actually like doing. Generally, that's the you know best use of your time. Um, we personally like doing it in, in um, stories the most, but you will notice, and most of us have noticed that reels um, have way more reach in 2021. I don't know. I still find stories to be a higher converter because generally they're conversation starters and uh, I'll get more into that after. That also means that you should be nourishing your audience in some way every single day using social. So this can be either an Instagram post, a Facebook post, an Instagram story, whatever. You know all the things you could do. A reel, whatever you want it to be. We like to switch it up like throughout the week, but making sure that you're doing some sort of nourishment every single day. So today's nourishment <laughs> for me is this video. So you'll see it goes out and um, that's really powerful pre-launch on social. And the reason that this kind of thing is so powerful is because you are not only providing so much like high value for your audience, but more importantly, you're creating the um, converse, you're starting the conversation with your audience. So they know what you're talking about right now and what you should be talking about is the thing that has to do with your next launch. So you should really be having conversations that get people thinking, hmm, maybe I should start thinking about getting on Pinterest. If you're a Pinterest manager and you have a Pinterest course coming out, or maybe I should think about going keto. If you're like a nutritionist who talks about going keto, this is like the conversation and you need to be the creator and the starter of the conversation so that your audience can start to get in that headspace. And then the third thing is to make an offer every single day. So this is where it's things start to get a little bit interesting. So you guys know about my regular daily non-negotiables. You can get it at melissacoleman.ca slash big. If you've never heard of them before, it's free. Um, things I do every single day to grow my audience and my bank account. And generally I say to make an offer in some way, shape or form to your audience every single day, meaning get people to buy something that you have to offer or get people to book a call with you. When you're pre-launch, you want to be really strategic with this because you don't want to be directing people's attention to lots of different things. So this is the only time that I will accept a few different things for the offer. Generally, it's like get people on the phone with you or send people to one of your products that they can purchase. When it's pre-launch, I will also accept a few things for your offer. Number one, get on the wait list. This is something that the rest of the year wouldn't really be considered 
an offer. Um, but pre-launch, it definitely is, and um, it's super valuable. And maybe that's the main thing that you want to be driving people's attention to. And number two is to actually get people to come to your webinar. So as it gets close to your webinar and you're in a, the time where you're getting people to register for the webinar, you can pull back on your offer and just go all in on your webinar or whatever your pre-launch event is because that webinar generally leads to an offer. And so therefore it works the same as getting someone to book a call with you and so on and so forth. <laughs> so first thing I do is pre-launch. I'm very active on social doing my daily non-negotiables and I highly recommend this for everyone. And I, all of my clients are currently doing this and, are, uh, and do this before every launch and it's still working, it's still crushing. You can be creative with how you're doing your growth nourishment and your offers, but make sure you're doing them every day. Then the second thing that is working incredibly well is getting people in your DMs. And so I personally don't love reaching out to people cold in the DMs and like, saying like, hey, I have a new course. That doesn't feel good or in alignment to me. And what I really like is for people to come to me. I like to put out the content, make the offers, provide value, and then for people to come to me using either my sales funnels or um, just reaching out in the DMs. So how do we leverage the power of the DMs without feeling spammy and like <laughs> creeping into the DMs, which is like not what most of us or what a lot of us don't wanna do, right? So here's the technique that I love to use and a lot of my clients are using it and I find it working incredibly well. And that is to react to people's stories. So <laughs> this is something that I kind of stumbled upon accidentally. What I would do is like, as I put out a story or um, you know a post or whatever, I would see who's commenting or watching my stories or replying to my polls or whatever, the people who are engaged. And you can generally see the like circle around their profile image, which means that they have an active Instagram story. I like to look at the people who are engaging with me and keeping up with what I'm doing and actually react to some of their stories. So what that means is rather than replying to a story and sliding into the DMs, um, or rather than randomly seeing them and then saying, hey, in the DMs, you just do the like heart reaction or fire reaction, whatever makes the most sense. And that does a couple of really cool things. Number one, only do it if you know you actually think this thing is cool and whatever. You know, just do it for the sake of doing it. Um, number two, it gets them in your DMs and is generally a organic conversation starter. So they'll reply and say like, haha, yeah, it was so funny or something like that if you did the laugh reaction or whatever. And you can start a conversation and you don't have to pitch in the DMs. I personally don't pitch in the DMs, but if the conversation comes up, sure, I'll say, hey, we can book a call or whatever. Um, but you can just start a conversation there. And what that does is builds a deeper relationship. So when you are launching, a couple cool things are happening. Number one, since you're in their DMs, Instagram thinks, hey, these guys are friends. They obviously like are on good terms. <laughs> They're chatting in the DMs. Make sure you show Alyssa's stories to her because they're friends. You might notice like all of the stories that are in the top of your Instagram are like people who you actually chat with on Instagram, people who are your friends, people that you're sending memes to. That's because Instagram knows you guys are friends. <laughs> it knows. Um, and so Instagram will do the same thing with these people who you've just reacted to. And the other thing is, what's the other thing? I forgot the other thing, but that's the most important thing. Your stories show up in their DMs. Plus when you're launching, they're that much more likely to um, see your content and to maybe even reach out to you and say, hey, by the way, I saw you're launching and I've been thinking about the course and it provides kind of an open door um, for somebody to ask you questions if they have questions or um, whatever. And generally that creates um, this deeper relationship between you and them. Oh, that's the second thing I was gonna say that now this person feels like you understand them or you get them or you guys have a bit more of a common ground because you do, you've seen their stories, you know a little bit what's going on, you've laughed at their dog chasing their tail or whatever. Um, and so therefore they're that much more likely to feel inclined to take you up on one of your programs because it feels like you guys have a common ground and people like working with people who they like. <laughs> That's what I always say because honestly, I never buy stuff from influencers who I like, hate watch. <laughs> I don't do that anymore now that there's mute, but you know, there's people who we like 
buy from all the time. And generally those are the people who we genuinely like. And so creating that conversation and um, that relationship with your audience on a deeper level is so powerful. And so if you're wondering like, how can I get more DMs, have more conversations in the DMs? I wish people would DM me and ask me questions about my course or um, even ask me if it's right for them or blah, blah, blah. This is a really casual and cool way to get that conversation going. And so I definitely recommend trying it. I love this technique and hopefully you guys, um, yeah, can give it a shot and see what kind of conversations <laughs> start coming up. Um, yeah, those are the two ways that we are really making sure that we can increase our launch profit by leveraging social media. Those are the techniques that we're using so we can put our blinders on, not worry about Clubhouse and, you know, um, TikTok and Twitter and like LinkedIn. We don't even think about those things. We focus on these two strategies, daily non-negotiables and story reactions. So let me know how you um, like to leverage social media for launching. And if you wanna know more about what I'm doing every single week leading up to my launch, I have a free checklist. I just created it for you guys. And I know so many people are loving it and following it, which makes me so happy because I just think the more people with like uh, thought out and um, a more like long <laughs> launch plan, the better. And there's gonna be some really awesome products um, coming soon. So I'll chat with you guys in the next video.